Uh, so I've got a question from Oleg, and I think I'm saying that right. I right love now. that guy. Okay, he's in Russia. From Russia. Yep. Yeah, he's my friend, man. So he says in the Crimson Idol CD, it's yes. indicated that Frankie Benali was on the drums. He has a feeling, though, that you were the main drummer. He wants to know how that happened. What did Frankie play? What did you play? Kind of <laughs> give a little... Not, well, yeah. you know, first of all, actually, it, it's... Uh, we share the uh, credits on it, um, um, and that's a really complicated formula. I can tell you that there are songs, I, I'm, I've been asked this question many, many times, and given uh, that we just lost Frankie, I want to, I, I want to, he's not around to, t to say his side, and um, we've never been pitted against each other with this, it's always, but it was, there's songs that are like Frankensteins, like for instance, the first thing I did, was come in and finish Chainsaw Charlie. Well, what does that mean? That means that the way Blackie records songs, it's piece by piece. I mean, literally, the, the, like in, on the Crimson Idol, we would record the intro, change drum heads. We'd record the first verse, change drum heads. It was decadent. We were burning money. It was insane. We spent millions on those records. So to answer your question, I, you, the world wants to know, I'm, I'm not 110% sure because I finished and touched up uh, what he started. And then I, well, you know, stuff like I Am One and Great Misconceptions. And, and um, you know, there's a, two, there's a few songs that I just came in cold and recorded, you know, um, front to back, just me. And I touched up tons of other stuff and I finished other stuff. There's like, like for instance, uh, Chainsaw Charlie is both of us, you know, which I think is cool as hell, you know, um, exactly what parts are what <laughs> I'd have to really listen man, you know, um, but I just, at this point, you know, like Frank was a bro. We, we've never had a foul word. It was always love between us. And um, Bob Kulik, same thing. You know, it's like, and people don't know, but Doug Aldridge was on the Crimson Idol as well, also a brother of mine. I'm just happy that I was part of a legendary record and that I shared drum duties with one of the most legendary drummers of our time, in my opinion. And um, there's a couple reasons I say that. Number one, Quiet Riot was the first band to have a number one on the billboard charts the first rock metal first metal band to have a number one number two frankie wrote the most iconic drum parts i'm sorry i mean doo -ba, doo -ba. you know what song it is damn right you do you know what i mean bang your head you know what i mean it's like hey guy was my friend and an iconic drummer and um so i just say we share the duties and you know someday i'll you have asked that before and people have asked before i suppose that's a fair enough question and um i'll, I'll look for the for the apps accurate answer down the road but that's what i got for you there kid and thank you for your friendship man you're a good dude you're always you're always good to me